everyone, it is Susie, and I hope you are all doing well. Um, I wanted to show you a flip through. This is the um, the little altered um, vintage book that I did the spine tutorial in. I will put that link to how I bound the journal in the spine without it showing here on the back side. Um, some of you have already seen that, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it was a help for you. But I will put that link to that tutorial in the um, description box. But I wanted to do a flip through of the journal uh, because you really didn't get to see other than the little bit that I did when I was binding it. So um, this here is going in the Etsy shop. And, of course, it will just be uh, listed as... Um, the title of the book and you can go by the uh, by the uh, photo as well um, it is the the winning or the whining of Barbara Worth and um, anyway this was just a really fun book I love these old books that have these old uh, photos on them um, I rescue them every time I see them uh, you know, it's just a love that I have for them. So, um, in this, I did um, use an old, old digital from Dreams Etc. Now, I don't remember the name of it. I will have to try to look it up. Don't even know if it's still available, honestly. Um, it's been that long ago. Uh, it's been years. I'm talking several years. So, that is what I chose to use. And like I said, if I can get the the name of it, I will get it in the description box. If not, it is uh, Jennifer Shop Dreams Etc. And uh, that's D R E M Z E T C Dreams Etc. Uh, you can go over there and see if you can find it. So um, that is the paper that I chose to line the the front and the back. I do have some old. Um, uh, or the age tape put in there because I wanted it to have a little bit of that. I've got it going throughout the book. Um, it just looks nice and it looks aged and I love that. Uh, I tried to use um, a lot of the Pinterest images of the ladies that had hats. So for the most part the ladies are going to have hats. So um, here's a nice just little collage. I did use a little trinket pin here. Um, these are some numbers I got off Pinterest I believe uh, a long time ago. I pulled out a lot of my old digitals that I had. Um, you know, I, but anyway, that's what these are. And I've used some vintage buttons. I actually had some uh, happy mail from from a dear friend called Teresa. And thank you so much. These were some vintage buttons that she had actually sent me that were off of um, her grandmother's um, uh, from her grandmother's collection and she sent me some little buttons. She sent me a lot of things, but um, Here are the vintage buttons and I wanted to put a couple of them in here. So thank you so much for that um, I really appreciate that happy mail uh, And that is just collaged. It's just got a little bit of everything going on in it and um, I do have as a matter of fact I do have this is a tea bag and I will probably set something in it, but uh, it is like a hidden pocket right here. So that is a tea filter that I have used there, and it'll just I'll put a little tag or something in it so that you know it's there. And then I've just used my tea stained paper here. Um, like I said, I've used some of this uh, age tape. Um, throughout. I did a tutorial on that as well. I'll put it in the description box. It is actually one that I saw uh, Beth Wallen do and I loved it uh, but she, uh, one of the ladies had told me that it was actually uh, somebody else that had had uh, come up with that. So, But that was the video I watched and um, anyway she kind of showed how she, what she did to make it look aged. Uh, but here is a couple of just uh, Pinterest uh, images there that I have put in there. This is, I believe, came off uh, Pinterest as well. It's just a little piece of ephemera, the Berry Seed Company. And it is kind of like a little bit smudgy, like 
uh, I don't know. It didn't, uh, it, when it was enlarged or something, it got a little, a little hazy, but, but it's still fine. Um, that was a Pinterest image. And then I used Nick the Booksmith's definitions. Uh, and she has a, a download that you can get, a digital that is um, definitions, um, random uh, letter or random numbers and things I like to use. Um, I downloaded it quite some time ago, but I do like that as well to use it in the book. So this one here is the book and the definition. Um, just some vintage lace and whatnot there. Here is um, just a Pinterest image, a little collaging going on there. Big old index card here. Uh, you can get these at Walmart. And then here is some more of the download. And it is the file folder. And I have just kind of draped it over the page. And I did rough up the edges on it to give it a little bit of just, I don't know, just a little a little pop of something extra for age. I kind of roughed it up. Of course, my coffee stain seam binding. Um, I still have some in the shop, but it is, it is dwindling, so um, I'm not sure when I'll get some more made when it's gone. Uh, here's just another collage. I have used masking tape. Um, and put a little tea stain on it and this is a little rosette that was white. I did tea stain that and just some vintage paper behind it. Vintage laces of course. And I've got Journey for the uh, for the definition uh, word piece there. And then I've got another collage here same way I've just used some masking tape and just some various uh, things. There's some vintage. Here's a vintage check back here and different things. Some tatting. But uh, and then here I've used um, this actually is just some Hobby Lobby trim that I have aged up with some tea and uh, tea stain and I've got some vintage paper back here and just collaged it with some tape and masking tape there. Same way, this is just a uh, piece of the digital, and I've tried to rough up the edges a little bit. This was a really pretty paper. I, I just can't remember what it was called. It seems like it was Romantic Notes or, or something like that, but I will see if I can, I can get that. And then I did use a vintage card here. I, I believe it's the Flinch Game. This is the, I mean, the early 1900s uh, one here that has the brown backing. It's it's one of the old, old uh, uh, cards there. And then I, I believe this is Pinterest, a little mat, uh, I believe that's a glassine that I've uh, stained up with some tea. This here was actually out of a book. I actually copied it and just uh, shrunk it a little bit. Um, this, this stain here is really a coffee stain, I believe, a bad coffee stain that was actually in the book. So that was kind of neat. And then this is some old Frisco. Um, I forget what it is. It was like a time thing. But anyway, it's, it's actually an aged um, Frisco, a vintage Frisco ephemera there. Uh, this is just a Pinterest little number set there that I printed off. And then here is a couple of uh, tags. I have backed all the tags in either uh, uh, ledger, vintage ledger, or the tea stained paper. Here's just another collage. Did a little bit of the definition there. And just added little bits of vintage lace and ephemera there. Uh, this is just another drape, uh, draped piece over the... Uh, digital piece over the page. This here, uh, one of the ladies over at Sophie's Notes had found these at Walgreens. And aren't they cute? They came this way. They're already kind of uh, grunged up. Uh, the backing was a little bit of a uh, real deep red um, and uh, aged black like that. 
and uh, anyway she had found these they are the bicycle brand and they're just called vintage uh, playing cards and anyway they're already done like that so I just kind of stitched around it a little bit and and uh, thought they just looked good all grunged up in that in uh, in this uh, journal so uh, here is the center of the signature, and I've been trying to put one of these uh, little collaged envelopes uh, in the center. I've got another vintage flinch card there. Just kind of added some vintage uh, mother of pearl buttons, uh, vintage laces or trims. Here's one of the uh, random uh, numbers from uh, Nick the Booksmith's. Uh, digital and then I just added a piece of uh, tea stained paper I did this envelope a little different I actually used the uh, distress spray of Tim Holtz uh, on this envelope and um, I believe it was the uh, not the walnut but the uh, vintage photo that's what I'm trying to think of it's the, it's the vintage photo stain and I just stained it up on both sides of the envelope there. And it just sits in the center of the signature. And then here I've got another little trinket pin. This here has another little, um, another, uh, little tea, tea filter pocket. So you have another little hidden, hidden pocket there. And then, of course, all the collage with the vintage laces and things, vintage trims. Another vintage flinch card there. Um, we've got the definition of read, and that's what I wanted to put there with a the little collaging going on, a little masking tape. Another just uh, digital that I've draped over the over the page for a little journaling. Another little pocket here and I've just collaged it up a bit. These are from uh, Victoria Designs, these letters here like this. There's some ledger and that's backed in the tea stain and then another little just piece from the from the digital. Here is a little pocket, um, another one of those little pockets with a little collage. And uh, here is a little piece of ephemera here and just a little piece of uh, tea stained paper. And then another I've draped over the page there. Uh, another collage. I love this image from Pinterest. A little cheesecloth, some more buttons and such. Another pocket here with a couple of uh, pieces in it. That's a uh, 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 Pinterest image there. Another little uh, piece of the camera there. Just I think I got it off Pinterest as well. Uh, another collage, got my masking tape and of course vintage laces there, draped another uh, piece over the page, another vintage card, well vintage look like card and this one of course is notes. And then I have um, another little card on the index card, this is from a vintage doily, I've just cut it out, did my collaging there. And here is the back of the book. So anyway, guys, that is the book. I'm going to try to hurry. I'm just about out of time on my uh, card. So um, anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next video.